In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Hyperice's new Venom Go. So the Venom Go is a portable, wearable device that provides heat and vibration to help relax tight muscles and relieve muscle tension. The Venom Go has three settings for both the vibration and for the heat. So for the vibration, there's a constant vibration, a pulse vibration, and then an erratic vibration. And for the heat, there's three levels of intensities, one, two, and three. And on the pod, there's a power button, a heat, and a vibration button. The nice thing with the pod is it also connects via Bluetooth to the Hyperice app, so you can control the settings from the app or you can control it from the physical buttons. And I like that Hyperice combined the physical buttons with the app, so if you just wanna turn it on without having to use your phone, you can easily do that, or if you wanna use the phone, you can connect multiple different pods and around your body to get multiple different areas at once, and that's a nice aspect too. And I think Hyperice did a great job in combining both the physical buttons along with the app-based uh, system as well. So with your Venom Go, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get three reusable pads, and then you're gonna get the pod. Along with that, you're gonna get a USB-C cable to charge the device. When you're using this device, you'll get about an hour worth of runtime out of it. And I think that's pretty decent for the size of it and what it can do in terms of providing therapy for your area. I also like that they use USB-C in terms of charging, so there's no special cable that you have to use. You can use any USB-C cable, and that's nice if you're on the go and you're traveling, you forget your cable, just use one of your other USB-C cables. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to apply the Venom Go, and then we'll talk about some of the pros and cons of it and give you my final thoughts. To use the Venom Go, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the pad and we're gonna place it on a flat surface. So one area I like to apply it is gonna be in the posterior shoulder or on the deltoid. So in her case, we're gonna do the posterior shoulder and shoulder blade. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the pad and we're gonna place it right here. Okay, and then you basically wanna make sure it's nice and flat, as flat as it can be. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the pot and it magnetically connects to the uh, pad just like that. So it's easy, just snaps right into place. And then you're, there's a power button you're gonna press and just hold that down. And that turns the module on. Next, what we're gonna do, there's two buttons on there so it controls the heat and the vibration, okay? So if I wanted to turn on the vibration, I just hit the button and now it starts to vibrate, okay? And what that'll do is it'll change the frequency of the vibration and if it's like kind of a pulsing kind of vibration versus more of a static vibration. So right now I just have it on more of the constant vibration. Now on the other side is gonna be the heat setting. So I turn that on and now the heat is gonna be working now in addition to the vibration, okay? Now if I wanted to shut the vibration off and just use the heat, you're just basically gonna hold that down and that shuts off that, but the heat is still going. And now there are three settings for the heat. One of the things that I liked about it was it provides actually a pretty good amount of heat for how little it is. Renee, how would you describe what the heat and the vibration feels like? It feels very comfortable, and I think it's impressive how quickly you can feel the warming sensation. Yeah, and how would you describe kind of what the vibration felt in terms of like how similar was it to like a massage gun in terms of that type of vibration? Uh, it's definitely not as intense as a massage gun. It's just a very light, um, soothing sort of vibration in that area. Yeah, I think it's, uh, you know, again, you don't want to be too intense with that. I think it, you, if you went too aggressive with the vibration, it actually would feel uncomfortable. But with the uh, heat there, it provides enough kind of soothing relaxation for the muscles and, and helps to decrease that muscle tightness and the soreness. Um, I really do like the heat setting. I feel like that's really practical. You can kind of maintain that for a longer period of time. The vibration is also nice in combination with the heat. It will relax the tissue. In terms of placing the unit on the skin, the big key though I feel like is finding a flat surface. So on the back of the shoulder, the deltoid, the lower back or even the upper back would all be okay. What you wanna avoid is gonna be kind of the rounded portion of the shoulders or like a joint or like a knee cap, for example. Any area where there's gonna be a lot of kind of contours. And what you want is you want the pad to be as flat as possible in order to get the most effective treatment. Now to shut off the device, all you gotta do is you gotta hold the power button again and it shuts off and that's it. And then once you're done, you just pop off the pod and you can take the actual pad off. And what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you're using the same backing that it came on and you wanna make sure that 
it's completely covered on there. Now they say that you get up to about 20 uses with this one pad and you get three pads in the unit. I think that would be very optimistic. I think probably after about 10, maybe 15 at the very most, you'll probably need to use a different pad. We use a lot of the uh, stim pads in the office and I can tell you they, they lose some of their stickiness pretty quickly, but these do feel pretty good. Again, they're bigger, so you're gonna get a better um, adherence to the skin there. And that's gonna be one of the biggest cons to this device is you're gonna need to buy refill packs of the pads and they work just with the Venom Go. So you can't really buy these on Amazon or anything like that. You're gonna have to get them directly from the retailer. But that's how you would apply the Venom Go. One of the pros of the Venom Go is it's very portable. You can apply it to an area, a muscle, you can walk around, do all your normal activities. You'll hardly know it's on there, but when you wanna take it off, it's really easy. Uh, so it's a really portable device compared to some of the other wraps on there. You're pretty limited in terms of where you'd wanna wear that to or fitting it under clothing. And it's very powerful for its size. I feel like you get a lot of good heat and vibration from such a small package. Another pro of the Venom Go is the amount of heat and vibration it can apply. For such a small device, it really does provide a significant amount of heat and it provides it very quickly. That was surprising to me because typically you'll have to have a device kind of warm up and then that will build up in intensity. So when you hit the power button, it'll start up pretty quickly. I also like that you can individually control the vibration and heat. Some people may not like the vibration or the heat and depending on your injury, it may feel better just to have the heat or have just the vibration. And to independently control that, that is a great aspect of this. Um, or you can combine them too to get more of a therapeutic benefit. In terms of treating injuries, the heat will increase the blood flow to the area, which will help to loosen up and relax tight muscles. And the vibration will also help to stimulate the area, help to decrease any pain signals, help to increase the blood flow to that area. And the combination of the two works really well for any kind of muscle soreness, any kind of muscle injury works very well. So let's talk about a couple of the cons of the device. Um, the first is gonna be the price. So the price of the device comes in at $149. But when you compare that to other um, electric stim units that you can get that can provide like a vibration-like kind of sensation, those will range anywhere from $30 to $100 on Amazon, and you're not even getting the heat aspect of the treatment. So this combines the best of both worlds, um, and it's very portable. Again, a lot of times with those other devices, you have a cables that are coming out that connected to a battery pack, where this is all kind of enclosed in one system, and it's very kind of minimalistic, and I like that aspect of it. Another con of the device is the actual pads itself. So you get three pads with your um, Venom Go. And again, they say that it'll last about 20 uses. I highly doubt that. I think 10 to 15 um, uses is probably realistic. I use stim pads all the time and a lot of times they'll lose their effectiveness after you know several uses. So depending on where you're applying it, you know how dirty the surface is or how much oil's on the skin, you probably won't get a full 20 uses out of it. And that gets into my other main con of this is the actual refill of these pads is $29 a piece. So you know, you're gonna have to go through these pads multiple times. I do think this is a great unit and I think it's worth it, but that's just something to take into consideration because you know the 149 you know, includes three of these, but you're gonna need to buy multiple um, pads throughout the use of this. But if you can get over that, I think it's really worth it, especially if you're an athlete, you have any muscle issues, or you deal with any chronic arthritic type of pain, this is gonna be a great option for you. This is the optional carrying case that you can purchase from Hyperize. It's $29, I highly recommend you get this with your device. It makes it so much more portable. You don't have to worry about it being damaged if you're traveling at all. Um, everything fits perfectly into this case. They did a really good job of designing this case. I wish they would have included it in the $149 price. I think that would have been a great touch. It has a spot where you can put all your pads. It also has a spot where the pod securely kind of sits in there and then it comes with a charging cable. It even has a spot where you can put in the uh, portion that connects to the USB-C cable to connect to the outlet. Um, that would even fit in this area here. But I think this case is really good and I highly recommend um, you get this. I think it is gonna protect your device and also makes it much more portable. So my final thoughts about the device is I highly recommend it. I think it's a great product. 
I think it has multiple different uses. You, you can apply it to multiple different areas. It's great for, again, any kind of athlete, any kind of acute muscular injury, but it can also be used in, with chronic conditions such as kind of arthritic conditions along the spine, along the shoulder, the quad, hamstring, the knee area. It works very well. The only, again, major downside is going to be you're going to need to buy multiple pads throughout the use of this. But if you can get over that fact, I think it was definitely um, going to be a great product for you to purchase. If you have any questions about it, reach out to me at 703-912-7822 or schedule online at Nova. Kyrewellness.com.